Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this Scan Tool Network video. Right now we're in a Mini and we have a few warning lights relating to the ABS and the chassis control system, uh, the traction control. So we're going to use this Top Dawn and Arti Diag, Diag 800 kit to demonstrate this tool diagnosing these faults here. Um, I'll put the link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones out there. So if you want to make sure you're picking up a genuine tool, then use the link in the description below this video. I like this tool because you can actually navigate through the menu system using the buttons on the side here, or you can just use it as a touch screen as well. So we need to find our manufacturer, which is Mini. And I am blind as a bat, so I always seem to miss it. There it is, Mini. I click OK to that. And we'll go automatically search, so that should automatically find our vehicle. Okay, we don't want to change that, so it's found the vehicle VIN number. And then I'm going to ask it to find faults within the ABS system, so that should take a second. So we're going to go to System Scan. So I've selected that. Sometimes this doesn't actually work, this System Scan button. Sometimes it does. Um, I'll show you what to do if it doesn't know, but the only way to find out is sometimes you just got to press it and then you've got to let it do its thing and it can kick in maybe 15, 20 seconds later. If indeed it is going to work at all. If not, if, you, if you're finding that you've, you've pressed it a few times and nothing's really happening, then you can just either click it again or you can click into health report. And again, if you click health support, then that you probably got to wait another 10 15 seconds for something to happen there. That's what this is the one thing I find frustrating about this tool, but everything else is, is really good. But when you come to this section, it just seems to take an age for anything to happen. We'll give it 10 seconds. Yeah, here we go. So it's scanning through the systems of the vehicle. And it's found in the ABS system, which is what we were looking for. Uh, a faulty ABS sensor, wheel speed sensor, rear right. Incidentally, it's also picked up the fault in the engine control module. Information on drive and speed, the wheel speed sensor is going to give a malfunction there as well um, don't worry about this that is not installed of the vehicle I don't think so uh, I didn't mean to go in there uh, this is what we're looking at though the ABS system so we'll go and click into this and then we can click onto the read fault code just gives us a bit more information about the, the fault there itself uh, so it's telling us basically that there's a fault with the rear right ABS sensor which uh, we fully believe but if you wanted to double check what you can do is go to um, read data stream wheel speed sensors and then you can select say like the four ABS sensors click OK and then you can drive the vehicle and it will give you real-time values so if the, the rear right ABS sensor was indeed faulty, which we suspect it is, that would stay at zero and all of the other values for the other sensors would actually start moving up uh, in relation to the, the speed of the vehicle. So if the vehicle was doing 10 kilometers per hour, the values here would show 10 each. Uh, this one would show zero because this one is faulty. So if you wanted to record the data while you're driving as well and then you can come back and review it when you're not actually driving the vehicle then you can just press the record button it's a really good little feature um, but that's a double that's a way to double check and then once you've so this vehicle obviously needs a new ABS sensor so we're going to put a new ABS sensor in once you've done that just a case of clicking clear fault code that will get rid of those fault codes and it will get rid of these warning lights as well so that's the top done Arti Diag 800 kit which is a good kit uh, like I say it's I've been using this kit for a few months now and I am impressed with it uh, it covers everything you need well a lot of what you need to 
not only does it do diagnosis though but it, it does do like a server has service menus as well so there's a lot you can get into but uh, it is the best audio uh, the uh, the best top down tool on the market this is their top level tool okay but if you are interested as i say link in the description that's where you'll go to get a, a genuine and official product thanks for watching and i hope this helps